Well, a jury reaching, has reached a verdict in the murder trial of a Georgia man who was accused of intentionally leaving his young son in a hot car to die. Justin Ross Harris was found guilty of murder and all the other charges in the case. Jonathan Surrey, live in Atlanta with more details on this horrendous, horrendous crime. Hi, Jonathan. Yeah, horrendous indeed. Hi, Eric. Ross Harris faces life in prison, potentially with or without parole. A judge will sentence him in a separate hearing that's scheduled for December 5th in Cobb County. Harris displayed no emotion as the jury read its verdict, guilty on all eight counts. The convictions include multiple charges of murder and cruelty to children in connection with the death of Harris's 22-month-old son, Cooper, who was left in a hot SUV back in June of 2014. During the trial, prosecutors show jurors multiple videos of police as they questioned Harris. They say he had been researching hot car deaths on the internet and had been exchanging sexually explicit text messages with multiple women, including one who was underage at the time. In addition to the murder convictions, the jury found Harris guilty of sexual exploitation of a child and disseminating harmful material to a minor. The actions speak louder than words in this case, and anybody who could do this, and the evidence showed that he did this intentionally, he has malice in his heart, absolutely. Harris's now ex-wife, Leanna, testified on his behalf, saying Cooper's death was just a terrible accident. After the verdict, Harris's lawyers told reporters the jury got it wrong. Sometimes there are breakdowns in the system. And when an innocent person is convicted, there's been, um, there's been some breakdowns. And the defense has been given 30 days to file an appeal. Eric? All right, Jonathan, I think if anyone ever sees a child alone in a car, call police. Thank you. Yes, take no chances.